Lamb. He is a journal surgeon and he's, he has a fellowship in minimal access surgery. He, is, he has experience of 26 years and he practiced journal and laparoscopy surgery. He's been UK to UK and France to upgrade his skills. And finally, he's running a super speciality hospital and also the plastic surgery. Presently, he's working with Satya Veda Medical Center. Oh, sir, we are happy to welcome you here. Floor is yours. Thank you, Garima. Before I sir takes over the me. floor, which is very yeah. vibrant, Dr. Lam, I'll request you precise five minutes. We have very big dignitaries out here, just like you, and, and the time is a bit limitations. Over to you, done, sir. Done, Ashish. Uh, five minutes, I shall uh, finish it off. Uh, can I share my, or can somebody share the PPT? I'll do that, sir. Yeah, please, if you don't mind. And start, I'll do that meanwhile. Yeah. Well, I'm Dr. Reginald. Uh, I'm a consultant surgeon. Uh, wishing all the women a, a, a happy uh, International Day of for Action of Women's Health. Uh, women is prime. Women is the center of the universe. That's what I believe. And I feel, uh, believe that women is one of the gems in the creation. And they are unique as they are created. And they are marvel to eyes and all to the mind. And they are at best when they are themselves. Well, I'm going to speak a bit on uh, obesity today, a couple of uh, slides. What is obesity? Obesity is uh, having more excess of uh, mass in the body. There's a given scale wherein the, uh, a, a particular person, whoever has a high, uh, given height, he, uh, he, uh, the, it is uh, weighed along with the mass of the body. That is kgs by meter square. And whoever uh, is less than 18.5 are supposed to be underweight. In the same way, there's overweight and class one obesity, class two obesity, and class three obesity. So everybody can check on this. But why are we talking about obesity? Because it has become very rampant everywhere. Obesity is seen in, at each and every places. See, what happens if at all there's a obese, uh, there are obese individuals? Obesity, obesity is supposed to cause premature mortality. So for example, you are supposed to live till 80. Somebody is dying at 70 or 60 because they are dying quite early. Obesity leads to diabetes, it, it leads to cardiovascular diseases, hypertension, and even uh, cancers, as Dr. Ashish has said. And uh, some certain researchers have said that there's increased risk of hospitalization and obesity has also caused lots of the COVID problems well, whenever we had uh, people with obesity. What are the cancers basically we uh, see? Particularly, there are a couple of cancers which are associated with uh, obesity, like meningomas, adenocarcinoma, fusa vagus, multiple myeloma, kidneys, uh, uterine cancers, ovarian cancers, colon and rectum cancers, pancreas, upper uh, uh, stomach uh, cancers, gallbladder, liver, and breast cancers are all associated with obesity. And uh, it is, as of today, if at all we see 2 billion adults, that is about 39% of world adult population is overweight, and 12% of the world's adult population is obese, which has tripled since 1975. And 4 million deaths are attributed only because people are overweight. Uh, this has come up in 2015. Then if at all we see uh, our Indian statistics. Uh, next slide, uh, Karima. Uh, uh, in uh, Indian statistics, obesity prevalence in India has increased from 2.2% to 5.1%. It has jumped, it has doubled from 1998 to 2015. This means over 135 million individuals are obese in India. And by 2025, India is going to have over 17 million obese children. Just imagine children being obese, and it will be standing second among 184 countries. So it is high time that we start thinking about obesity in, in adults and as well as in children. So if we see the uh, uh, graph given, a uh, couple of more uh, slides later. Yeah, one more slide later. Uh, you can see here uh, in the graph given, uh, this has uh, been taken out from the NCD risk factors. The light yellow graph is where we all belong, the Indians belong. As, as we see, the obesity is continuing to increase from 1975 to 2015. More so, it has been noted in childhood, it is, it is boys who are more obese compared to the girls. But as uh, in, in adults, it's a woman. Uh, the percentage of women was really gone up when compared to men. That is, the women have become more, the number of women, the percentage of women have become much more obese when compared to men. So that is that, that is why we are supposed to be talking all these things. And as I said, 
the obesity is leading to lots of problems lots of medical problems premature death lots of social problems and many cancers which are coming so what is causing the obesity next slide we have certain environmental factors i have put it first because so that everybody will take note of this of course all the time we say hereditary my the, my dad is obese my mom is obese my granddad is obese genetic factors are also there then physical activity nowadays people are sitting more on the on the computers doing less of physical activity uh, diet and nutritional imbalance and gut imbalance gut we have some good bacteria if at all there's lots of imbalance and sleep and stress have also uh, known to cause uh, obesity so as i said the first thing was environment factors there we see what is known as ob obesogens so that there are certain things which cause obesity in people so obesogens are compounds which cause weight gain they may directly cause weight gain or indirectly can cause weight gain by decreasing the metabolic rate and the decreasing the uh, varying the energy balance such obesogens are chemical pesticides which are seed in our food and water now we see each and every place wherever we are going to have food there is so much of pesticides in the food every vegetable every fruit what we are eating every a morsel of rice we take there are pesticides and these pesticides are supposed to be causing ob uh, obesity and there are certain uh, diabetic uh, uh, drugs or certain other drugs are also there where which are linked to obesity uh, well other than that uh, if at all see there are uh, particularly one particular thing which is known as monosodium glutamate this is supposed to be present in all the dishes which are we are we, we are fans of ch uh, chinese uh, food right so all the broth soups canned and frozen vegetables from the chinese stuff we we eat so this is what is there inside and particularly there are other plastic things which are made up of pvc can also cause obese so what are, what is the food we are eating what sort of a food are, are we eating is very important other than the sleep stress and uh, genes you know the food and the environment where we are and what we are getting exposed this is very very important for us so once the if at all we can talk to this to each and everybody i think the uh, percentage of the obesity will go down and many people uh, can be better so what are we supposed to do create an awareness just the way what we are doing right now we are creating some awareness among everybody what exactly is happening and not just creating awareness among others and ourselves we have to change our lifestyle we have to become more healthy we have to become more disciplined our sleep patterns have to be good then we have to unstress ourselves then uh, we have to have proper and the right nutrition it is not just nutrition it has to be a proper and a right nutrition which is supposed to be there and as i mentioned always uh, avoid obesogens which are there next slide garima yeah i've just done this slide so we'll we'll just go this is what is all about obesity the problems what obesity is causing as i'm a plastic surgeon I, a, a little bit of liposuction liposuction has become a controversy liposuction still continues to be there in the world and lot many people are doing there are thousands of cases which are happening but unfortunately most of the time the celebrities go for liposuction and one or two accidents which happen are brought to the notice and those one or two accidents really cause uh, some problem uh, uh, among many people so i uh, just a couple of words about liposuction liposuction is a surgical procedure which is used to suck out the fat this thing the, there are different parts and different times to do uh, this is to be done in moderate you know you don't you don't go and get it done for hours together you don't get it done in multiple parts of your body you go moderately then it is much safer it is more a body countering procedure than a weight loss procedure next slide so uh, before we do any liposuction always try to convince the people to go for a moderation only a little bit of it and the and the and the person should be a, an ideal person who is having fitness for surgery and all those things and one who doesn't smoke and what are the things actually happen with the liposuction is uh, as any surgical procedure there will be some surgical and anesthetic risk we always associated but they are minimal it is nothing much to worry about uh, if at all we go to the next slide there is a one slide if at all it can be played uh, if you can click on the play you can just see a couple of seconds of liposuction is done uh can we play that uh, the small hump in the front lady uh which has been doing uh instead of cutting it open and taking it out so we just cut out all the fat to see the tube uh, fat coming out it is reasonably a safer procedure and uh, uh, i think the side is fine. yeah then that's how the fat is being collected all about liposuction is very simple 
and I, I hope I could make some awareness as far as obesity is concerned. Thank you. We'll go with the last slide. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Wow, what an insight into obesity. I'm very much sure all of us loved it. <laughs> obesity is uh, something which, uh, is, which doesn't run in the family. The problem is nobody runs in the family. At this time, I'm so delighted to talk about uh, something which is the most important thing from one person who we all will be ready to salute. And that is none other than Padma Bhushan, Dr. K. Uh, Srinath Reddy, sir the cardiologist and who's reached the heights, which we cannot even talk about it here in, my, in more timing. I would request Dr. Garima to introduce one and only Padma Bhushan, Dr. K. Srinath Reddy, sir, who will talk about how to save a woman from the number one killer, that is the, uh, the 